Hey guys, welcome to your uh, career and money reading for Leo. This is going to be for your March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in your career and your finances. Um, and then we'll finish off the reads and see what else you guys need to know. Look out for work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, you may, um, I guess, switch the roles if you want. If there's other people getting involved here, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other, place, uh, other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people not to have into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you to uh book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when i go live also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Uh, what else? I am doing a giveaway for a free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. If you guys are interested in that, check out the details on how to enter in the community tab on my YouTube page. I will announce the winner on March 8th, all right? So tell me about Leo. <clears throat> tell me about Leo and their career and finances. What's going on with Leo and their career and their finances for um, uh, the month of March 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for um, uh, uh, Leo. We have uh, we have the de uh, Devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the th uh, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Interesting. One of the things I'm getting is I, <laughs> I feel like you guys are breaking free of the matrix here. Breaking free of the 9 to 5 work situation where I feel like the situation that you've been working in has been very, very, very toxic. And I feel like you turned your back on it because I feel like your colleagues are just not able or that you're not able to work together with these individuals here. You know, there's a lack of cohesion here. There's a lack of, you know, being on the same page here. So I feel like you're turning your back on this work situation here. And I feel like you could be moving towards something else. You know, uh, maybe you're doing your own thing. Maybe you're starting your own business or something like that. Maybe you gained all the knowledge and tools that you need to start a business from this work situation that you've been in. But I do get the sense that you're turning your back on a very toxic work situation that's just not working out here for you. Okay, so the devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy, the three of wands, the nine of pentacles, and the, uh, the ten of pentacles in the reverse. That's not the three of pentacles here with the page of cups. You know, with the page of cups here and the star card, some of you guys could be receiving a new job offer. And I feel like you're realizing that this new job offer, this offer that's coming in, you're realizing that this is your calling in life. Because this star card, this star card is basically, you know, an energy of someone here who is being of service to others, you know, helping others, you know, innovating, innovating, innovating for society here, you know, contributing to society. So I feel like this new job offer is going to completely change your life here. You know, with the Ten of Pentacles you uh, in the reverse, you're realizing that maybe it's time to leave this prior toxic situation because nothing is improving or nothing is changing or nothing is getting better here. Okay, tell me about the star card here. Star card, Aquarius Energy, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like this new job offer will change everything. I do feel like this new job offer will be very, very, very emotionally fulfilling for you guys. It's so interesting. I feel like some of you guys might be doctors or nurses or something like that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, it could be that you guys are working at a, at a practice that's really toxic. Maybe you guys are switching to a different practice or something like that. Okay, so let's see. Uh, tell me about the Page of Cups here. Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, uh, you're about to walk away from something here that's no longer uh, serving a purpose in your life here, uh, uh, Leo. The uh, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Wands here. It could go either way. Like, you guys could go ahead and start your own business here. Or that you guys could take a new job offer. Perhaps you guys are doing the business on the side and you guys are working full time or something like that. Until, you know, this business that you're starting here is fully sustainable, then you will leave your full time job and do your business full time. Nine of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. The Three of Wands here and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're, 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 
So there is a work situation that's ending here that you're letting go of because I feel like it's, it's starting to affect your health here. Yeah, it's starting to affect your health here. So I feel like you're taking care of yourself here and I feel like you're definitely dropping uh, or leaving a work situation here. That's definitely causing you a lot of grief and suffering here. And I feel like you're realizing that you don't want to put yourself in that position here. If there's something out there better for you that's coming, you know? What else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know, look out for, work on for the, um, Mar for the uh, month of March, 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for um, Leo. For Leo. <clears throat> we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy here. We have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seems like there could be multiple offers that are coming in for you. I mean, this could also be indication that you're actively looking online here. Um, you know, I do feel like some of you guys could be getting your next big break this break break is going to really completely change your life here you know i feel like it might even like um you know uproot your life in a way where you might have to physically move okay so i feel like this uproot is a good a, a good thing here okay with the uh tower aries scorpio energy here with the ten of swords you know there's definitely something that's ending ending here and there is a new beginning that's happening for you when it comes to your work and I feel like this is something that you're really excited about or that this is something that you're really eager to get into here because, you know, I do feel like the work that you're about to do is going to be really rewarding here and very emotionally fulfilling for you. Tell me about the a temperance card. That's not temperance. Um, yeah, temperance. That is temperance. Temperance and the eight of pentacles. Tell me about the page of swords here. Why is the page of swords here and the king of swords? I do feel like you guys are definitely making making some big plans for yourself. You know, I feel like you have you basically are setting your plan in motion here, and I feel like you're 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 you're, you're trying to execute and trying to make this plan work. Uh, basically, you know, con maybe continue working for somebody, and the and then like I said, if you're starting a business here, doing it uh, doing it on the side until that becomes uh, fully sustainable, then that's when you leave that. Uh, your job situation to be with your business full time here with the Ten of Cups here and the High Priestess. I do feel like there is a situation where I feel like a family dynamic will completely change here, will completely shift. And I feel like you know that it's coming here. Okay. This is interesting because I feel like, you know, someone here might be writing their will, you know, kind of figuring out assets. Someone here is definitely preparing for the future here, uh, preparing for, you know, uh, the worst case scenario, which I feel like it's not a bad thing. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Cups here. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups in the world. We have the Fool and the Emperor here. I mean, this could be you just really completely bossing up here. Gaining control of the situation here because, you know, with that double card energy, it was a bit out of control. So I feel like you're definitely bossing up here. You know, I do feel like if you started a business here, I feel like within the next six months, I feel like it could be sustainable. And then if you guys do plan to quit your jobs, you guys will be able to do that. Okay, yeah. Eight of Cups here and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to be really happy here because of, of the results here of something that you're starting here. Okay, so Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.